Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out a new Insider preview build to the Canary Channel Insiders. And the new build is 27686. Now, you may have noticed that we are not dealing with the 26,000 builds anymore in the Canary Channel. We're dealing with 27,000. So this means that in effect now in the Canary Channel, which is basically your very early preview version of Windows 11, Microsoft now has moved past Windows 11 24H2, which is this year's annual feature update, and is now focusing on post 24H2 features um, for next Windows releases and next Windows versions. So I thought this was interesting. Now focusing now on what's new with build 27686, and first of all, um, this build, according to Microsoft, includes the new Windows Sandbox client preview that is now updated via the Microsoft Store. So as part of this preview, Microsoft say they are introducing runtime clipboard redirection, audio and or video input control, and the ability to share folders with a host at runtime. And you can also access this via the new um, three-dotted menu icon at the upper right on the app, which is this little three-dotted menu they are referring to. And over and above that, um, Microsoft mentions that this preview includes a super early version of command line support. And just take note though that they also mention that commands may change over time. And what we are looking at here in this image is Windows Sandbox Client Preview with the new drop-down showing clipboard redirection audio, video, input control, and the ability to share folders with the host. So um, if you are using a Windows Sandbox, and if and when this does make its way to a stable version, this may be a nice move in the right direction. Now, just to mention um, the next improvement, Microsoft say they've also made optimizations to improve battery life for PCs running this build and newer in the Canary channel. And then, in response to feedback, Microsoft mentions that they've added a Detach Virtual Hard Disk, which is uh, the VHD, VHDX button to settings, making it much simpler to detach your VHD, VHDX as needed. And as we can see here, uh, this um, option is available under Settings, System, Storage, Disks, and Volumes in the properties for your VHD, VHDX. So if you are using this feature, that may be a step in the right direction, as I would say. And then something else just to mention um, is that uh, Microsoft has made a small yet significant little improvement when it comes to storage when formatting disks. And they say that when formatting disks from the command line using the format command, they've now increased the FAT32 size limit from 32 gigabytes to 2 terabytes. And I think that's a very significant change for the formatting disks from the command line using that format command. Um, the FAT32 limit from 32 gigabytes is now bumped up to 2 terabytes, which is a nice improvement. And then the Canary channel is very early days in preview, so we get fixes that Microsoft has to work on. And because it is early days, as always, we get a good couple of known issues, which is common in these early preview builds. So there you have it, Microsoft now has moved past 24H2 in the Canary channel with build 26,686. And it's going to be interesting to see the new features now that Microsoft works on post 24H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.